Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do different sorting functionality in File Explorer on Windows 11. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in File Explorer. Best match, should come back with File Explorer. Go ahead and open that up. And now I'm just going to go underneath a random folder here. doesn't really matter which one, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go under a folder with different files under it. And now I'm going to right-click in a blank area on the right side. I'm going to select Group By. And now you can sort by different areas. So, like, for example, name, date modified, type, and size. So let's say we did by name here. It'll go alphabetical. So you can see up at the top here, you can, you can collapse these selections here. You can also, if you right-click, we can go ahead and instead group by date modified. So you can see the oldest files or the newest files, depending if you're doing ascending or descending order. You can also, if you go under group by again, you can also sort by type, so different file extension types here as well. Sort by alphabetical here, so animated cursor and then cursor. And if there are any other file types in here, again, it'll be listed alphabetically in that orientation and then like I said with size as well and you can also change ascending and descending as well by just going to group by and you can do ascending or descending order you can also click on the top of the columns here and that can also change the position of that as well and one further thing if you go under group by there's also additional settings if you go underneath more and you can select different areas and different options to sort by the most common ones are going to be checkmarked up here but you can remove them and add other ones if you so choose to do so so pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.